Hello guys, today I'm going to show you some basic stuff on Sony Vegas Pro 12 and let's start first with the project settings since this is the first we need to do here from the second and you see this window here are the settings I usually use I choose them from there like there are some options here the settings in the beginning can be as pro proper like full HD and but I use this because it is less to render it's good to reduce to be widescreen since the YouTube screen is widescreen and it's just better since everything nowadays is widescreen here you can have widescreen without having HD I use this for long videos just type these settings and that's it, now I'm gonna leave it like this and of course if you want to keep those settings you do this and that's all I do on the settings so next I'm going to show you how to do the pen cropping stuff because it's important, it's like one of the main things by the way, sorry that if I sound weird, my voice sounds really weird from video and sorry if you can't hear because of like background noises from my computer and if I speak like too quietly but I just hear it loud when I speak and then when I play the recording it's quite quiet so sorry if you can't hear something but you see on the screen so I hope it's not a problem so first you open your picture or video and here's it, here is your picture. To trim it you go to the place when you want to split it and just hit the escape. Then delete the part you don't need. I delete it with the decay. So you go from the event pan crop from here or right click and event pan crop. And here is it. First of all, if you want your picture to match your screen, you choose this. So then it comes with a more more interesting parts well, of the pictures. It's actually not interesting, but trust me, when I was a beginner, it was really interesting for me to like just bankrupt stuff and I found out how to do it. So you add two keyframe for everyone, double clip, and you zoom in or zoom out or move left or right. So I'm gonna zoom in and move like this so it doesn't appear on the screen since in older version versions it's like just moves forward it here it is how it turns out and then of course you can have another, f another frame like for example in the end or if you need more you can add more you can zoom out again and move up or down or again left or right and here is how it turned out nothing special but I'm just trying to some basic stuff and for when you're making like an effort your video or even if it's a simple video you usually need more than one press so you just try to on the track or just here and insert video track and you can insert as many as you want I just, the most obvious is like I think 160 you can use more if you, the video requires it and you don't worry if you can do super complicated effects now you'll be able to do it later so be optimistic and don't panic 